right now we're rolling out the new travel network, the one that fits for our central city right now and well into the future. A great travel network takes a lot of different people and a lot of different moving parts. So we've got a lot of partners, we've got Environment Canterbury, we've got The Crown, we've got NZTA, we've got Naitahu and of course we've got the City Council. Behind me is Cambridge Terrace. It's part of the one-way system and it's a core part of the car transport network. But it's not the only thing that we're going to use it for. We're going to have wider footpaths, we're going to have a cycleway. So it's a place for people as well and it's right next door to the River Precinct. So this is what the new Central City Transport Network is all about. You can have people walking, people cycling and, and cars all moving together slowly, carefully, safely uh, to create an efficient network because we're not about not having cars, we're about not having congestion. At the intersection of Oxford Terrace, Litfield Street and Durham Street, it's really interesting. It's the place where a lot of the different demands come together and we need to create the right balance. So we've got the promenade along the Avon River Precinct. We got the, the two-way of Litchfield Street and the Justice and Emergency and the Retail Precinct. Lots of stuff happening. And what we need to do is create a small section of two-way there. So we got the main one-way of Cambridge and Durham Streets. And a little bit of two-way just in that section, which feeds the traffic up into the Retail Precinct. So it's a really critical area for the central city. And it's critical that it's well designed and that's what the best team is doing at the moment. An example of how we're balancing the needs of all the different types of travellers is the Oxford Terrace, right along the river precinct, in fact, where we're creating a shared zone. Now this is, will be transformational for Christchurch. It's a new type of street, it's a new type of feel and, and, and so on. It's 10k an hour maximum, so it's really slow, and cyclists and pedestrians and cars will share that street. At Chewham and Antigua Street, down by the hospital, we're going to build a new super stop. Now that's one of the two that we're building, the other one's on Manchester Street. And then we've got the bus interchange. So this is all part of a new network of bus stops and the bus network, which is going to move people easier and more safely around the central city and through the whole city itself. So it makes people coming into the central city much easier and also getting away again. And particularly for that area around Chewham and Antigua, which is the busiest bus stop in the city. So it's really important that it's a great experience for people. Around the whole hospital corner area, it's really interesting and it's, and it's a good example of how we're balancing and providing lots of options for people. So we've got a new shared path in Hagley Park, we've got a new uh, separated cycleway going down Chewham Street, and of course the bus priority for Chewham Street as well. And then on Oxford Terrace, it's part of the river promenade. So that's great for cyclists and for pedestrians and so on. All in all, this ties in the health precinct, the bus interchange, the river precinct, the metro sports centre, all these bits and pieces, Hagley Park itself of course, and really creates lots of different options for people to travel around our central city. It's a really good example. Manchester Street will be one of the most beautiful streets in Christchurch. It's going to be much wider with wide footpaths, loads of trees, have slow traffic going through, mainly for buses, because we want the buses to flow through easily. And it's going to be the residential precinct on one side, the super stop there, the playground just up the road. It's going to be a really great street. It's a really good, another really good example of what a high quality streetscape we're going to have in our central city. People wanted a green, accessible, welcoming and distinctive and vibrant central city. So whether you're travelling by bus, whether you're travelling on your bike, whether you're a pedestrian, or you're in your car. Travelling in and travelling around will be safe and comfortable and an easy experience. And that's what will help make our central city great and exciting and welcoming.